to start the day good morning i'm back vlogging again who would have thought two times in two weeks it's got to be a record for me for the last few years so thank you so much for all your support on my last vlog i'm glad that you enjoyed it i'm just getting ready to go for a walk with my mom it's saturday morning i put on my sunscreen as i mentioned last week i'm using the ultraviolet spf 50 queen screen uva uvb broad spectrum really like lightweight thin formula i am enjoying that one the other one that i tend to use a lot is the neutrogena hydro boost water gel lotion again a really nice texture and good sun protection and then i did pop on a little bit of makeup i don't usually but my brows haven't been done for a while and they're a little bit crazy so benefit gimme brow holy grail love that one I popped on a little bit of mascara, the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, which is a longtime favorite of mine. This was like a gift with purchase size um, from Sephora, but it's an awesome mascara. If you're going to spend a little bit of extra money on a mascara, the Marc Jacobs one, I definitely recommend. And then my lips are always dry. I've always got lip balm on and uh, I really like the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oils. This is the red color which is called Red Berry. Surprise, surprise. Um, I'm almost out of this, as you can see. This is very well loved, but it's a great one to just chuck on. It has a hint of color if you want a little hint of color, but it's also really nourishing and shiny and just hydrating. My mum is going to be coming over shortly, but before she gets here, I wanted to share something that I think is pretty freaking cool. I'm gonna sit down for this, get comfy. I'm just gonna invited over. I don't know if you've maybe already spotted what I wanted to share, but I got a robotic vacuum. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to open this package. <laughs> Who would have thought I could be so excited about a vacuum? But I really am. <laughs> when the people at Robo Rock reached out and asked if I wanted to try their newest product, I of course said yes. I'm very much a tech geek at heart. I love a gadget. I love a smart device. Anything that can make your life easier, I want to try it. I'm here for it. And I've wanted to try a robotic vacuum ever since I think I was a teenager and I first saw them on infomercials. It was one of those products that kind of seemed like, you know, a one day when you're an adult, when you're at your peak, you'll have a robotic vacuum. I don't know if I'm quite at my peak. I'm definitely an adult and I'm very grateful to have a chance to try out the Roborock S6 Max V, which I have affectionately named Body. Body, meet the internet. Internet, meet Body. Body's technically been on probation. I have been trying him for review for the last sort of week and a half and I wanted to share some of my thoughts on his performance. <laughs> For a robotic vacuum, it is very, very intelligent, has built-in LiDAR, which means that it can map out the room and precisely navigate around the space. I have a lot of furniture, quite leggy furniture at that, and I didn't realize quite how much until I was watching the robotic vacuum navigate around all the different legs and all the tight spaces. It did a really good job of getting where it needed to go. It also has AI with the twin built-in cameras in the front. It means that it can recognize objects and know to avoid them when it needs to. It's crazy to think that it is actually thinking as it's working, but it does a really good job of, of picking out things. I have decorations around at the moment on the floor. I have power boards. I leave my shoes around, things like that. And it can spot them and knows to go around them. It even takes a little photo so you know what it's avoided after it's cleaned up. And the cameras are also infrared so they can see in the dark in case you want to do a little bit of late night vacuuming. 
It is Wi-Fi enabled as you'd expect with a product in 2020, which means that you can control everything with an app on your phone. It's really easy to use and very functional. You can set up no-go zones, you can set up set up schedules for cleaning, sequences for cleaning as well. And if you have a multi-story home, you can have it set up for all the different levels and it will recognize where it is. I particularly like the fact that you can set up no mop zones, so I can make sure that it mops the kitchen, for example, but not my rug, which is in the living space. After it cleans, you can see on the map where it has been. And my favorite feature is probably the inbuilt camera. You can remote into that and see what it is seeing as it's cleaning and control it with the remote control. So you can send it to the exact spot that you want it to go and do a spot clean if you need to do that. Of course, the smart features speak to me the most, but it also needs to be functional. If you're buying a vacuum, you want it to actually vacuum. It works across all my floor surfaces. I have like faux vinyl wood, I have carpet, I have tiles, I have a lot of rugs and it goes over all of them. So I don't need to sweep, vacuum or mop anymore. I was a little bit skeptical about the mopping purely because I don't mop too much. I tend to spot clean purely because my flooring isn't made to get super wet, but you can control how much water is used in the mopping process through the app and that works really well. You can also control the power of the vacuum itself. I have it set to the highest setting and it picks up a lot. I was kind of worried that a robotic vacuum would be a bit of a gimmick and wouldn't be as powerful as other vacuums I'd used in the past, but it definitely is. It picks up a lot. Dust bin removed. Whoa. I can't believe how much that picked up in such a short period of time. <laughs> wow. That's gross and also extremely satisfying. I can't believe that. Even on the top setting, it's still relatively quiet. I had it going while I was working from home. It didn't bother me at all. When it was in the other room, I didn't really notice it. When it was in this room, I could definitely hear it, but it wasn't an annoyance. If I had a call, I would just pause it while I was going on that call, and then I could start it again. It worked really well. I appreciate its work ethic. My current vacuum, I find that I can only do a certain section of my apartment because the battery only lasts for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I tend to vacuum a section, then charge it, forget about it, then have to vacuum another section another day and another section another day. And then I wait a few days and we're back to vacuuming again. Whereas with this, it goes and does as much as it needs to. The battery lasts a decent amount of time, but if it runs out mid cleaning, it just comes back to its home, recharges, and then keeps on going. I know this has been quite a positive review, but I honestly can't fault it. I don't think it completely negates having a handheld vacuum of some sort because you guess you'd need one for say vacuuming a car or a small space that the robotic vacuum can't get into. But for your day-to-day -day floor cleaning needs, it does everything that you need it to and performs really well. I can have it run while I'm out doing something else. So I'm getting the time back that I would usually spend cleaning the floors or I can have it running while I'm here and know that I can be doing something more frivolous, like, you know, spending an hour on TikTok or whatever it may be. My biggest concern when it comes to vacuuming is hair. I have long hair, I have a lot of it. I tend to leave it wherever I go. And I know that that sometimes can get tangled on vacuums, but this was really easy to clean. You can pull out the roller. It comes with a tool that allows you to untangle anything and also clean the filter, which is handy. And so far I've had no problems with that either. So overall as a roommate, I've got to, I've got to give it an A+. Comes with its own furniture is quiet, is intelligent, carries its weight when it comes to chores, and lets me pick what we watch on Netflix. What more could a girl want? So if you guys happen to be in the market for a robotic vacuum, I would definitely recommend the S6 Max V from Roborock. I'll pop a link in the description to where you can get it and see some more info. There's also a discount, so if you wanna save some dollars, definitely check that out. It is ending soon, so make sure you jump on that quickly. And I think that's everything I wanted to say about body. Now that you guys know each other, hopefully we can all be good friends. <laughs> I can't believe I have a robotic vacuum. It's crazy. This is 2020. I have a robot. <laughs> I've just grabbed a jacket because my depart my <laughs> God. <laughs> just be natural. This is what happens when I overthink. I'm so much better if I just, you know, just do it.
Mum's here and we're about to go. I've just grabbed a jumper because my apartment is deceptively warm, but as little winter dress over here is, and I was in shorts and t-shirt, mum has let me know that it is cold outside. So we're gonna get going. How are you feeling this morning, mum? Good. <laughs> <laughs> mum went out last night and had to go pick her up. She had four Cosmopolitans, so she's a little bit hungover. But she's very excited about the vacuum and is waiting for me to take it to the house to test it out there, aren't you, mum? Yes, <laughs> I am excited. <laughs> the scenes of these shots is that you then have to run back for the camera and I risked life and limb because I ventured into the snake territory. <laughs> I had to stop in at TK Maxx on the way home and I've got this really cute, too cute to spook mug and they've got new pillows and I really want that one or maybe that one. How much are you? Oh. $39.99. It's very, very tempting. I don't know. I don't know. We made it home, slightly windswept, but it was a nice um, 12Ks to start the day, a bit of resistance training. The weather is really nice, but it is definitely windy. Mum has gone home to have a coffee and work off the rest of her hangover. It's hilarious because she really doesn't drink very much, and when she sent a picture last night and it was just captioned for Cosmopolitans, I knew that I'd be giving her a lift home. It was end of school term celebration, so I think there'll be a few teachers with sore heads. This morning, I did, I did grab the mug from TK Maxx. It came home with me. I didn't grab the pillow, but I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. And now I'm facing the age old conundrum of, do I get changed? Do I get dressed into proper clothes or can I just stay in my active wear for the rest of the day? I'm leaning towards active wear because that is pretty much how I uh, live my weekends uh, in active wear and I need to get some chores done. So I'm going to do them and then work out whether I need to get dressed and do something for the rest of the day or whether I'm just going to chill at home. Unfortunately the robot vacuum cannot do all my chores so unpacking the dishwasher is all on me. That was a relatively easy one. Not my most hated adulting task. I think that still is with the putting in petrol in your car. I think that's still my number one most hated. Vacuuming wasn't up there, but I don't need to worry about that now. Ironing is probably one of my top don't like, so I wish I had a robot for that as well. And my other one is like vegetable prep. I need to do that. Since we're in the kitchen, I think I'm gonna do that now. Sometimes I leave that to Sunday, but let's just smash out all the chores so we don't need to worry about them. I'm gonna pop you guys back down. I don't know why I picked you up. I'm still not set up well in this kitchen for vlogging, but I'm hoping that that kind of works. I started doing this pretty much from when I, I guess, moved out. Um, when I was living at home, I did cook for myself, but it wasn't, super planned out um i would just it was like on a needs basis and i would really just go for convenience more so than you know health whereas now i need to provide the convenient food and the healthy food for myself so 
what I tend to do is chop up a bunch of like fruit and vegetables, whatever I think I'm going to be using for the week and have it all pre-done so then I don't have to worry about it and it's already prepared and I can just cook with it or snack on it and I'm more inclined to use all my bits and pieces rather than wait for it to go off. you that way a little bit. I'm all done and that would have taken me under an hour including cleanup to do which is not too bad as much as I don't relish the task. Future Rachel appreciates it and it does help me with eating more vegetables because I'm not a vegetable lover. Just then I did the broccolini, carrot sticks, cucumber slices, strawberries and then I still have half a pumpkin which I peeled and chopped up last week to roast. And I've still got some zucchini noodles there and baby spinach. So I'm really like prepped for the week and I can add these to stir fries or to any meal basically that I cook, pasta, things like that. The strawberries I like to add with my oats in the morning or with my <laughs> crepes and Nutella for dessert. We can't be healthy all the time, guys. It's just not, it's not, it's not sustainable, at least not for me. Oh. And I also did my smoothie, which looks disgusting, but it's, it's healthy-ish and um, it doesn't taste too bad. Thanks to the banana and blueberries. I've just got it in the fridge to chill for a second. Later. We took a momentary battery charging break and I filled up on some food. I had yet another corn thin sandwich because I have nothing if not predictable. And I've come in my room because I have some washing that I need to put away and there's been a task that I have been putting off for the last few weekends which is reorganizing the drawer that I keep my active wear and like other sort of comfy clothes in. Ooh, we just move my, that's not working, move my bedding out of the way for a little bit. It's this drawer here which was organized at one point and is now decidedly not organized. The one on the other side also needs to be reorganized but I thought I'd start here and then see how I'm going. I feel like this is a very task oriented video, which I don't know is the most entertaining of content, but maybe we can, we can chalk it up to as inspiration. If you need some inspiration to be productive on your weekend, maybe this video will do it for you. It's definitely gonna be inspiration for me because it's forcing me to, to do this because you know now I've said it, so I need to do it. Although I also wanna go to the shops and right now I'm talking myself out of it and thinking maybe I'll quickly drive to the shops first and then I'll come back and do this. Yeah, I've convinced myself. I wanted to go to the other TK Maxx and I'm sure you're over TK Maxx, but I bought this candle during the week, which is really cute. It's one of those like flameless ones that flickers. If we I'll turn it on for you guys. And there was two and I only picked up one. And then afterwards I realized I really should have picked up two because if I want to use it for my Christmas decorations, it's likely that, you know, I'd have one and then maybe another one and now I only have one. I said one a lot just then but I thought maybe the other TK Maxx may have one because I, when I went back the, the second one was sold so maybe we can do that and then I will force myself to organize that drawer. Oh I just remembered one of you guys asked me about my bag in the comments of my last video. It's from Olivia and Co. I think the store is called. I'll pop a link to it. It came in a couple of different colors. I think four different colors. I got it recently on sale and I also managed to use a coupon code, which I love when I can double up on the savings. You can choose to get it engraved. Is that what it's called? Embossed? Personalized. Let's call it personalized. I chose to get it personalized. I just got an R and it's a great bag. It has a lot of pockets. One in the front 
another one in the back here, which has got you know, my 2020 sanitary stuff like masks and wipes and hand sanitizer because we can't be without that. Big zipper pocket in the middle with some other pockets as well. I really am enjoying that. I like wearing it sort of over my arm, but then it also has the long strap as well. This is not a bag review video, but yeah, I got that. So I will link it for you for the person who was wondering where, why am I putting it back? I need to take this. <laughs> I will also highlight that I stayed in my active wear. No regrets. successful trip I didn't end up finding the candle and I didn't actually end up buying any of the Halloween stuff they did have some stuff that was slightly different to what we have at my local store but there was nothing that I absolutely had to have I kind of I did pick up a pumpkin and held it while I was walking around but I put it back down I'm getting much better at really thinking about what I buy and you know, if I don't absolutely love it, then it doesn't come home with me. The one thing I did grab is a little bowl for my cat. Mum had mentioned that uh, Seeker needed a new bowl, so I got this little Ray Dunn Good Kitty one. It was $6.95, pink on the inside, really cute. So that can be for Seeker. She got a present, but yeah. I would love to be able to show you more of the inside and like actually go around and show you stuff, but I feel like here you get really strange looks and stores don't necessarily love when you like go around with a camera whereas I watch so many YouTube videos of people in America that go into Home Goods or Michaels or Hobby Lobby and they'll literally spend ages showing you every little thing and talking about prices I just don't think we can get away with that here in Australia maybe we can if anybody's had a different experience vlogging in shops let me know but yeah I apologize that I can't just go around and show you everything I would like to but it's just not possible I'm, or at least I don't feel like it is. Maybe if you do it on your phone, it'd be less, you'd be a little bit more like inconspicuous or if I had another person with me because then I could kind of talk and it's kind of like I'm talking to them but I'm also talking to the camera. Anyway, vlogging problems for you. <laughs> 11 minutes later. I stopped into a nearby Target because I'd seen on Instagram that they'd had some of their Halloween stuff out and I did manage to spot some. They don't have the grapevine pumpkins that light up out like last year, but they do have a few cute things. So if you are looking for Halloween, check out Target as well. Nothing like Target in the States. I wish ours was like Target in the States, but they do have some really nice homewares out. If you haven't dropped into like the Target homeware section in a while in Australia, definitely give it a look. They have some gorgeous pots. I have that one. And some faux florals that are really pretty. I really love this photo frame. I'm very tempted by the wicker photo frames. very much my color palette if you can't tell and their artwork is really nice as well I really love these prints I was about to leave and then I remembered Christmas they've got their Christmas stuff out I love 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 that color scheme if I didn't already have way too many baubles I would definitely do this color scheme for Christmas this year
Everything they have to go to match with those colours are really, really nice as well. Oh, they're stunning. I'm tempted to get some of those and some of those after I literally just finished saying that I don't need any more decorations. These are all really beautiful too. Sorry, my camera's probably not doing them justice, but I'm really impressed. I love this. Some of these might need to come home with me. Oh, and those ones too. Sorry, I haven't really been showing prices, but a lot of these are either $4 or $6 each. Some are five. Oh, they've got a beautiful ceramic village for $25. have room for one of these but if I did this would be coming home with me it's $89 that's such a cool idea and you could still put decorations on it if you couldn't fit like a full-size normal Christmas tree very unique that very unexpectedly went from Halloween to Christmas so quickly um, I don't know how I'm gonna edit all that because there was Justin Bieber blaring and I know that I will get flagged for copyright so well you'll have already seen it but I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of Christmas I promise to not bombard you with Christmas too early because I know some people don't enjoy that I am very much pro Christmas for as early as you want I do not believe in waiting till the 1st of December I never have I usually wait till the 1st of November purely because Halloween is the 31st of October but if you are very much into Christmas get in the Christmas stuff quick because it does sell out I did end up coming out with four of these I just I really liked them and I know that if I didn't get them now I'd go back later and they wouldn't have any so I got four of those and three of the little Halloween pumpkins it was a successful little trip into Target now that our little shopping expedition is over I need to get on with the task at hand and organize that drawer but I'm gonna multitask and pop some pumpkin into roast because I'll probably have that for dinner tonight I don't do anything special I've got a teeny tiny drizzle of olive oil and I'm just gonna pop that in for about 35 to 40 minutes at 180 and then it will be a salad for me tonight for dinner and probably tomorrow night and possibly the night after that because I'm all about convenience and I will eat whatever's in the fridge if it's pre-done for me if I pull everything out put it into categories and then refold and work out how to repack I'm gonna to listen to some tunes for this but unfortunately you guys are stuck with the royalty free music sorry <laughs> Probably doesn't look like it did a great job of neatening them, but I have kind of put them into piles. I've got shorts over here, t-shirts, singlet tops, sports bras slash like crop tops, tights, um, jumpers, and then those are like special shirts. There's just like, there's like a YouTube t-shirt, there's a Christmas t-shirt, there's my Google Pixel Team Yellow t-shirt there um, an apple t-shirt so I don't know whether they'll stay in there or whether I'll put them in a different drawer but they're kind of like I don't know memento type t-shirts um, yeah so that that's basically how I've got it sorted I do need to neaten up some of the folding but I do think that there's a couple of things that I want to get rid of I've already chucked a few things down there and then I think what I'll do is I'll just make it as a goal as, as I pull anything out if there's something that I don't think I'll wear I'm going to just toss it a lot of this stuff is really old as you can see I don't really have 
you know, super fancy active wear. I figure all I'm going to do is sweat in it. So I tend to use like old t-shirts that I've had for a really long time. I did buy some new black tights over winter because I was finding that I was putting on tights every day to go out running in the morning and I just didn't have enough just plain black warm-ish full-length tights um, but they're just from TK Maxx they were pretty inexpensive um, yeah so there's some things that I don't really wear anymore and then there's some new things that I've ordered I've ordered a few new crop tops just because some of mine weren't fitting very well I've also ordered some new kind of bike shorts from Cotton On that should be coming this week just because I wanted some that had a pocket because I find when I run I want somewhere to put my phone and these type shorts that I usually wear, these kind of like, you know, just runners shorts that are loose and comfy, these rarely have pockets, especially the girls ones. So um, yeah, I've got some new stuff coming, so I do need to clear out a bit and I tend to wear the same stuff over and over. So I should work on getting rid of it, but I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put most of it back in the drawer. Actually, while we're chatting, let me reopen this. Since I know you guys enjoy a little organization piece, if anybody has this bed, I thought I would show you how I split these large drawers. So this bed is from Ikea. It's the Brimes or Brimnes or Brimnes. I'm not actually 100% sure how to say it, but it's, yeah, it's, it's from Ikea. This is the king size, but the queen size has the same size drawers as well. I've just changed out the handles. And these organizers are all from Ikea as well. So these are these big tubs. They actually come with a lid. I'll put the exact names in the description because I don't actually know them off my top of my head. And then this one is also from Ikea as well. So they fit pretty much perfectly. And um, it's just, I find it's easier than rather than having this massive drawer, which is awesome and stores a lot. But if I just let everything go crazy, then, um, well, it gets even worse than what you saw. So if you do happen to have this bed and you are looking to, you know, utilize the drawers for storage or storage of clothes in particular, check out some of the IKEA sort of small storage because you can really break it up nicely and if you aren't wearing the clothes for a season like say I had jeans I can actually stick the lid on top and it shuts and fits fine and it means that the clothes are kind of protected from dust or whatever you do just while you're not using them so yeah just a little organization tip for anybody out there who you know wanted it all right I'm gonna pack this all back in and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, I'm all done and in perfect timing too because I just heard the timer for the pumpkin go off. But this is how it ended up looking. It is much neater, not perfect, but you know, at least I can see generally where everything is. I put jumpers towards the back because I won't be needing them much anymore. Brought shorts to the front because that's what I'll wear the most of. My crop tops and t-shirts and then I've got tights towards the back here and then I've kind of switched. I did have tights in there, but I've kind of expanded that collection. So I've now got singlet tops in there, which I don't have quite as many of or not as many that I wear regularly. That definitely needs some tossing. So I'm going to be sort of slowly working my way through there and seeing if there's anything that I am not going to wear so I can get rid of that. And same with some of my t-shirts, they're looking pretty sad. A lot of the um, white ones have kind of discolored. So um, I definitely need to do a bit of a clean out of that as well, but that's it. Well done guys, you kept me accountable. If I hadn't have said this on camera, I probably would have put it off for another weekend. So feeling productive. And then those other bits and pieces are going to go over this side. But oh, why am I on manual focus? Go back to auto. There we go. Um, anyway, yeah, that's for another weekend. I feel like I've done a lot. This has been quite a productive Saturday. Full disclosure, it's not usually like this. I do tend to get in like little roles where if I know I've got a lot of stuff to do, I will just like push through and get it all done. So then tomorrow I'll probably do pretty much nothing. I'll go for my run in the morning and then I'll chill all day. So, you know, if, you, if you've been hanging out on the couch all day and you happen to be watching this video, just know that I fully support that as well. Um, if this motivates you, great. If not, keep on chilling. I, that's, that's what I do too, a lot of the time soon after i'm all showered now and i've just put together my dinner i'll give you a little sneak peek of my pumpkin salad there it's just the roasted pumpkin baby spinach feta and pepitas or you know pumpkin seeds really simple sometimes i add corn 
uh, and I will also add a little bit of like chipotle spice on the corn. Super tasty, very easy, um, definitely recommend if you're looking for a simple meal. I also have my Too Cute to Spook mug, which doesn't have coffee in it because I don't drink coffee. I don't say that very often because I feel like somebody's going to revoke my adult card when I say that I don't drink coffee. But at the same time, I kind of think it's a flex that I can get through life without caffeine. Um, so yeah, there's that. And also I kind of thinking about it now, I don't really mind if somebody wants to take my adult card because, you know, adulting can kind of suck sometimes. <laughs> anyway, I'm in for the evening now and I'm going to wrap this vlog up because I was importing footage just before and I know I've got way too much again. Let me know how you feel about these really long vlogs. I'm not going to be doing them every week. Um, it was just kind of a coincidence that I've kind of come back two weeks in a row, but I am going to make a concerted effort to try and randomly vlog on occasion. And I'd like to know if you can handle these really long ones. I personally don't mind them. I tend to watch people that vlog and they vlog for long periods of time. I usually just have it on TV and I'll kind of watch it while I'm doing other things. But if you really, really do not like them, then I can, you know, try and I don't know. I don't know how to cut them down, but I can try and try and only vlog small parts within one day. So it's not quite so long. So yeah, I hope you're having a good week. By the time this goes up, we'll be into a new week. I'm going to finish watching the Michael McIntyre stand-up special on Netflix, Showman. I think this one is new. And then I'll probably watch the second to all the boys I loved before movie. What is it? Like PS I Still Love You, talking about being an adult. Um, I was watching the first one last night and I realized I've watched that way too much because I caught myself saying a lot of the lines. I didn't realize that I was at that point with that movie, but apparently I am. So don't ever watch it with me because I'll be really annoying, but I'm going to watch the second one. I don't watch the second one as much. I like that the story progresses and I've obviously read the book, so I know what happens, but I um, find that there's a lot more awkward moments in the second one and I'm this type of person that I struggle to watch any kind of awkward moments on television and movies because I physically feel them. This is why I can't watch like The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. I, I know everybody expects me to totally be into those kind of shows. I can't do it. I physically cringe watching those television shows. So yeah, a little insight into me. <laughs> Anyway, I will talk to you guys all at some point soon. Bye. Epilogue. Surprise, I'm back. I actually don't have anything super important to say, but I was reading through some comments on my last vlog and somebody had written that it's not a Rachel vlog if I don't come back after I say goodbye. And I was thinking about it and it is very true. I do do that a lot. It's almost like a reaction that as soon as I say goodbye, it's like my brain thinks, oh, you need to say this, 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 and this. So I often come back. So I wanted to say thank you for supporting me and watching enough of my videos to recognize that I have a pattern like that. And um, yeah, just know that I read all your comments. Even if I don't respond to every single one, I read them and I enjoy seeing what you guys, like hearing what you guys are doing and also sort of seeing what parts of my video you guys react to and what you relate to. I feel like it just makes our connection stronger. So thank you very much for that. I'm really going now. Body says bye to. <laughs> and don't forget to, um, Check out the description box if you happen to want to buy yourself a robotic vacuum as well. They make great housemates. See ya!